Okay, so I still have some time left before my appointment, so I'm gonna tell you another story. I'm, I'm just gonna be sitting down this time though. Um, this story is about when I went to Mexico. And I don't really remember how old I was. I, I know I was in elementary school and it was a long time ago. And I had only gone to Tijuana. It wasn't anywhere further than that. I mean, which is, from what I understand, that that's barely into Mexico. Um, but we did cross the border. Anyway, um, there was a group of little kids who were gathered around us and they were asking for money. And I guess, you know, they were just kind of had their hands up to us because I, I think we had given one of them like a dollar or something and I guess the rest of them saw that and they all got like really desperate I guess and just you know gathered around and they wanted money too so they they kind of had their hands up to us and was following us around everywhere and it would it started to get quite a bit annoying and um, my mom finally just kind of got tired of it and she said to them in Spanish well this is what she told me she said because you know I don't really speak Spanish she said that she told them to go with their mothers before uh, she started to worry about them or something like that well <laughs> I know that she had to have said something else because after that they all pretty much just kind of left so <laughs> to this day I have no idea what she said and uh, you know I can't ask her because she's gone but um, I don't know, I, I thought it was kind of funny at how, how fast they did scatter away. Um, also, we were just kind of walking down somewhere, and I don't know, it, it looked almost like a little marketplace of sorts. And there was this doll that I wanted. It was a really cute little doll, and um, she had like yarn for hair, and all these pretty little ribbons, and a cute little dress, and I wanted one really bad. Well, the price that they were asking for it, um, my parents didn't really think it was worth it. So they tried to, you know, bargain with the people and see if they would take a little less. And the people said no. So then my parents said, okay, well, that's it. And we just walked away. Well, uh, there, there was actually, from what I guess, he looked, I. I think he was deaf. He, was, uh, he wasn't he was talking and he was just kind of doing some signs but it didn't really like look like sign language. And um, he ended up kind of chasing after us. And he, he kind of tapped me on the shoulder and I turned around and look and he held up four fingers as if he was, <clears throat> excuse me, as if he was telling us that they will take four dollars for it. Even though he was trying to tell us that before, but the other people were trying to tell him, no, 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 we don't want to take less. But, but he, he was willing to, to go down for us, and that was cool. So I ended up getting the doll for $4. And, um, and it was pretty cool. And then that was it. I don't really remember much else. I just remember um, my sister riding a mechanical bull, but I, that was it. I don't think we stayed there very long because we ended up getting hungry and did not eat there. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's my story about me in Mexico.